Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss user defined function in Python. There are lots of functions in Python which are built in like print, like sqrt, like pow and lots more. But we can also create our own function which is known as user defined function. Okay, so go to the computer screen. Now today we will discuss user defined function okay actually a function is a block of organized reusable code that is used to perform a single related action okay functions provide better modularity for our application and a high degree of code reusing python provides built in functions like print sqrt pow and lots more okay but we can create our own functions and these functions are called user defined function okay so go for an example suppose write diff and then suppose write user underscore application okay the function name and parenthesis open and parenthesis close and then put colon and then write the statement of this function suppose write print and right here technical r co n okay and close it and then put another statement suppose write or no okay and close it and after that put the function call user underscore application and parenthesis open and parenthesis close actually this is the function should in python and the functions have two parts one is the function call this is the function call and this is the function definition okay actually we can define function to provide the required functionality here are simple rules to define a user defined function in python they are first number one function blocks begin with the keyword def like that and followed by the function name and this is the function name here user underscore application okay and parentheses open close okay the point two is that any input parameters or arguments should be placed within this parentheses if we put any parameters or arguments should put here okay and we can also define parameters inside the parentheses okay so also we can define parameters inside the parentheses also okay number three the code block with every function starts with a colon so this is the colon is there okay and should be indented okay and should use four spaces or one tab per indentation level okay same indent style should be maintained throughout the code within the function okay so this indentation level should be maintained within this user defined function okay number four we can use return statement to return value to the function call so there is no return but if we want to return something so we can put the return statement also okay and the number five on the function call side it is an argument means when we put something here this is actually known as the argument okay and on the function definition sides it is a parameter means when we put something here then it is known as parameter okay so we first save the file so go to the file and save option and then go e drive and then just go to the folder python example and put a name example 102.py okay and just go to the command prompt and just type python example 102.py and press enter so what get as output technical arcoin and or no okay actually what happened function call tells the python to execute the code in the function when the function is called then the function definition is executed and it just print whatever the statement provide here first print technical arcoin okay and after print or no okay and take another example of user defined function suppose write def and suppose write add means we add two numbers and provide the parameters a comma b okay and then write c equal to a plus b okay and just print the value of the addition 
So write sum equal and put a comma and then just write C. Okay. And then we call the function, just provide add and suppose the value is 10 comma 20. Okay. So what happened when we put some value or expression here and this is actually known as the argument. Okay. And here in function definition part, we are defined the variable a comma b and this is actually known as the parameter. Okay. And also should remember people sometimes speak of arguments and parameters interchangeably. Okay. We see the variables in the function definition referred to as arguments or the variables in function call referred to as parameter. Okay. So just don't confuse on that. So remember one thing and it's a convention that when you call the function this value or expression is known as your argument okay and the variable which is defined within the function definition is known as parameter okay and should another thing should remember and this value or expression is actually known a actual argument okay and these variables a and b is actually known as formal parameters also sometimes it's known as formal argument okay so just save the file and put a name example 104.py okay and just go to the command prompt and just write python example 104.py and press enter so what get sum equal to 30 why because in function call the value is 10 and 20 so a store 10 and B store 20 and after that 10 plus 20 store within the variable C as 30. So that's why sum equal 30. And so remember Python is based on call by object reference or sometimes called call by sharing. Okay. I hope that you have understood today's topic and also this user defined function have the another parts like type of argument and what they are i will discuss in my next video so keep watching my channel technical argument and thank you bye bye